The archers are fast asleep this Saturday morning when they hear an alarming sound coming from their front door. Beth reaches over and pushes me and says, someone's ringing the doorbell. I saw this man come back towards the house and he had the shovel in his hand and Joey said, go take care of the girls. My name is Beth. And my name is Joey and we survived an assault and home invasion. I woke up to the sound of the doorbell and someone was ringing it furiously. So I wonder if it's one of my neighbors, maybe one of my neighbors needs help, I don't know. And at, I was thinking all this as I was running down our hallway to the front door. While Joey runs to see who's at the door, Beth looks at their security cameras. When I opened up my phone and started looking at the cameras, I saw that my car was not in the driveway any longer. And I saw this man who was outside our, our house and he had something in his hand and he was trying to get into my husband's truck. And I'm like, Joey, he's trying to break into your car. It was a horrible moment. My wife's car was in the bushes. There was a gas can that was not where I left it, laying on its side open. And there was a strange person with a shovel beating on my truck. I wasn't going to go outside and confront him. It wasn't worth it. Joey calls the police as he watches the man destroy his car. He took the shovel and tried to pry open the doors of the truck. And then that didn't work. And so he took the shovel and just started hitting the truck to break the window. He climbed in and out of the truck through the window. As he turned towards the house, my immediate reaction was to protect my family. Their two daughters are still asleep in their rooms. Joey said, go take care of the girls. And they're like, mom, what's happening? And I just told them, I said, listen, there's somebody trying to break into our house right now. I said, I, I need you guys to get up and I, and I need you to climb out the window and I need you to run to the barn and hide there. As the girls run to the barn to hide, the man approaches the house, shovel in hand. He took the shovel and hit the window once, twice, and the frame went flying. And at that moment, the shovel was sitting right in front of me. I grabbed it, yanked it out of his hand, uh, hooked him in the head with it twice, pretty hard. And then he kind of stumbled out of the doorway. And then I opened the doorway and chased him out front. Get down on the ground. Get down, get down on the ground. Get down on the ground. I screamed at him until he got on the ground and got on his knees. And at that moment, the cops came. Just as Joey has the man immobilized on the ground, the police arrive. Your hands up. Stay right there. They arrest the intruder. The family has chosen not to identify the man due to safety concerns. He is charged with attempted burglary and vandalism-related charges. At the time of this production, the case is still pending. Joey and Beth look through their security camera footage to find out what happened. We discovered that he had actually been on our property for about 30 minutes before he came to our door and rang the doorbell. He had jumped over the fence. He went down to our barn. He rummaged around in one of our vehicles that was parked near the barn. He did all those other things that we hadn't seen yet, where he had moved our car, had tried to get into the truck. And all of those things happened before we woke up, before we were involved in it at all. That's a little bit scary to know that this was happening, and of course, we're not aware of it because we're asleep. The archers pick up the pieces of their broken door and try to repair their broken sense of security. It probably took me a good week before I could function normally. We are survivors, but even more than that, we're overcomers. We're going to take what we've experienced, and we're going to grow, and we're going to be stronger for everything that we've faced. Get down, get down on the ground. Get down on the ground. <laughs>